it's me TFT and yes we are back we've come to Birmingham Ladypool Road to try out a place called Casa Palmo we're gonna be trying out a really spectacular box get this guys you're gonna be getting a hot shot Palmo you're getting a portion of chips you're getting two barbecue wings you're getting a double smash patty coleslaw two dips and a can of pop what for the ridiculous price of 15 pound that's right 15 pound for this box up tea side you're paying 15 pound just for a pomo so you know what i thought we've got to go and try this place out whether or not the quality is good for 15 pound i'm not expecting too much but i've been told that this place is banging we're going to get ourselves seated lads have been fantastic they're on preparing the food now let's see whether or not these guys can match with the tea side pomos right then guys we've managed to get settled and our food has arrived get a look at this bad boy so you're gonna get the hot shot pomo i have been told you can pick any any pomo you want you can either go hot shot you can go chicken we're going to be getting the portion of fries you're getting that double cheese burger smash and you're getting them two barbecue wings they've dropped in a bit of coleslaw and a couple of drink uh, drips i'm sure i'm due a drink is that right my friend yeah. can you get me a tin of rubicon please if you don't mind thank you very much yeah, guys so here we are 15 pound thank you very much mate 15 pound for this here this is what's really brought me here because i've heard so much about casa palmo people have mentioned it up north as well um it looks pretty decent i'm not gonna lie to you for 15 pound even if it tastes like cardboard it's still gonna be worth it to be honest with you but i've been told the palmo is supposed to be creme de la creme so let's have a go right you're getting closer cameraman you are allowed to move i keep telling the cameraman that i think he might be getting a bit nervous are you a cameraman hey up one thing i'm gonna say first is the way i slid my knife through that's a good sign usually when you cut in a palm oil if you're having to use steroid strength you know that the palm oil is not done right but it's just slid straight through there plastic fork let's have a look at the consistency on it there we are I like the way they layered the toppings on it. Sometimes with palmos, people tend to think the more topping you got on, the better the palmo is gonna be. That is not normally the case. The palmo we had at Manjaro's in Sunland, the tandoori chicken palmo, if you've got a chance to watch that review, watch it. Very delicately topped. And you can see underneath as well, perfectly cooked. I've seen the guy in the back preparing the food. Uh, nice, clean place. These guys are gonna be opening up upstairs. Uh, apparently in two months time they're gonna have a seat in the area upstairs as well but you know what at the moment that don't really bother me because i want to get this in my mouth and see whether or not this travel has been actually worth it wow i don't know how to really explain that first bite you got the crispiness of that of the of the of the batter the chicken it just slid and then flavorings on the top there i don't know what flavoring is put along here that just melts in with that chicken and gives that chicken it juicifies it there's another phrase for you it juicifies that chicken and you're getting all them little flakes of all that it's not a hot palm oil it's not a spicy spicy hot palm oil it's just enough to keep you ticking along you know keeping you just warm on a chilly morning it's that kind of palm oil it's not going to be overwhelming with spice which is good because sometimes when they put on too much spice it takes away the taste of everything else that's on that palm oil right let's take another bite of that I don't know whether you can hear that crunch on that batter. You don't really hear that. When you go to places like Manjaro's, quite a few other places we've been to, House of Palmer's and in Bradford we tried, you haven't had that crunch. And it's a refreshing kind of crunch, because after that crunch is when all them flavors are gonna start flowing in. It's like opening up the doors for all them flavors coming in. You've got quite a lot going on in the palm oil. It is small, but it's packed with flavor. Now, I think we're gonna be moving on to the double burger smash party. Now, when I seen this on the menu, I thought to myself, for 15 pound, it's probably gonna be a cheap burger. 
you know what I mean? Just trying to cut their losses. But you know what? These guys are going all out because that is a smash burger patty. That's not your frozen stuff. That's smashed beef. Angus beef. I like the fact they haven't layered it with cheese. A lot of burger places you go to, it's all about the cheese. We went to Drip in Manchester. They loaded that burger with cheese. So these guys, it's a nice, tidy burger, guys. What can I say? Nice brioche bun as well. It's Them patties are thin, but they've got a lot of a lot of meat in them. They're a lot of big texture, really chewy, strong tasting meat. Wow. That burger alone, you could be paying maybe seven, eight pounds for elsewhere. Um, you got, we are going to be trying out other burger places in Birmingham, but the average price for smash burgers nowadays is seven, eight pound. That burger alone is worth seven, eight pound. I've paid a lot more for burgers that don't taste as good as that. Wow. And that sweetness of that brioche bun, the burgers have been seasoned perfectly as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed so far, guys. Right, chips. I'm so glad to see thick cut chips because whenever I want a Parmo, I want good, thick, steak cut chips. A lot of places give you them frozen fries and say, there you go, mate, on your way. These guys are dealing in the thick, straight cut chips, which is good. Wow. Wow, now, here we are, these are the barbecue wings. Now, a lot of people know I'm not really a big fan of barbecue. The crispy barbecue wings, but let's try them out anyway. For the purpose of this review, I'm gonna have to try them. Mm. Actually, not bad at all. I like the crispy layer of butter they've got on them wings. When you go to places and get wings, you tend to, they, they'll be grilled. It's a nice refreshing change to get a couple of fried barbecue wings in this box. The place is run by two brothers. They've come from Keithley, which is near my hometown. We went to Keithley, we tried a place called Utterly's Fishery in Keithley. Some really good places in Keithley. We did a place called Diamond Calf. I think it was in Cavendish Road. Fantastic place. So the guys know what they're doing. They come from a town which deals in good food. S sauces, I will say guys, you all know I'm not a big fan of these tubs of sauces because you need a degree to get them opened. And there we go, that one opened up all right. Garlic sauce, tip it in. Yes. Real good, strong taste of garlic. And them herbs are bringing in a separate kind of uh, flavor to that garlic party, because I'm a big garlic fan. This sauce here, let's try this one out. I'm thinking this is their house special sauce. It will be. There we are. A lot of places nowadays, guys, are bringing out these house special sauces. I don't know what they put in them, but you know what? Most of the time, you, can, you are a bit disappointed with them, but let's try this one. It looks nice and creamy. I like the glaze on it. Well, yeah. That's got a bit of a kick on as well. Nice creamy flavor on it. And then that kick just comes in afterwards. Guys, coleslaw. We had coleslaw with our Parmo in Bradford. It's good to see a portion of coleslaw. Let's have a look at this. What can I say? I can honestly say, oh, hey, we even get a bit of tissue as well. Look at that. They've got their own cashew pomo. We'll use that later. I can honestly say that's the best £15 we have tried on the channel. And I'm not just saying that because we get accustomed to paying a lot of money for your pomos. Them two items alone, you're looking at paying maybe £15, £16, £17 for. They're going to chuck in the chips. They're going to chuck in the sauce. And you've got your good old tin of the classic Rubicon. I'm so glad in Birmingham everybody's got the Rubicon going. That Rubicon is worth the drive alone. 15 pound for me, that has been exceptional. And the guy behind the counter, he's basically said to me, 
check out this box as well now this is the desified version of it are we ready for this one okay this is going to be on the, on the menu very shortly it's going to be the desi pomo and what this has got in it's got the chicken in now do you know something it looks absolutely amazing uh, and i'm gonna have to take a bite of it this isn't on the menu yet it's got kima and potatoes on have a look at this then it's a bit like the spaghetti ball palm they do up north but this has got as you can see it's got a bit of greenery on as well helping the planet with that greenery i like it i like it okay so let's cook in here oh i hope look at that that's what i'm looking for consistency butter chicken butter and the toppings that's what you want nice thin layers as well thin layers but packing a punch Wow. Honorable mention to the kima topping. It's not too strong, it's not too spicy, it's not uh, overtaking everything else. It's just working alongside absolutely perfectly. Guys, 15 pound, I've been blown away, I really have. Service has been fantastic as well. Lads have been brilliant. Parking might be an issue for you guys, but do what we do, park in the side street, walk along a couple of minutes. It's Lady Pool Road for God's sake, you know what I mean? You're never gonna get parked up outside any shop here. So side streets, don't forget, they are gonna be having additional seating upstairs. When it comes to the score guys, I'm gonna score this as a box. I'm not gonna score it as a Palmo. I initially come in to say I'm gonna try out their Palmos. I'm gonna be scoring this as a box. And I'm telling you now, it's by far one of the best boxes. 15 pounds I've spent since I've been on the channel. Let's not forget that. It's a 9.7. 9.7, guys, from me. I know, I know, I know. But I'm just as blown away and surprised by this myself. I was gonna come in, I expect to pay 10, 15 pounds for a palm more, but I've got all that for 15 quid. I just hope that when they get more busier that the quality doesn't drop and they maintain that quality. I know uh, prices will go up eventually, but keep that same quality, keep that same customer service. When you open up upstairs, you're gonna get busier, maintain the same standards and guys, you'll go a wrong way. I wanna say to the guys behind the counter, get one open up in North East, you will absolutely smash it. Guys, only one more thing left to say to everybody at home. Uh, if you are watching and you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, but why not? You're looking at one of the most honest, genuine food reviews on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, wherever you want to look guys, the channel is going strength from strength and it's because of you guys. Only one more thing left to say to everybody in Birmingham and all the thousands of you watching across the world, uh, you guys have all officially been food troll certified. And me and my tin of the kings, a tin of the king of the Rubicon, shall see you guys for the next one.